Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to not die in a zombie apocalypse. Step 1. Make sure it actually is the zombie apocalypse. There's nothing worse than thinking it's a zombie apocalypse, killing someone, and then going to prison for first degree murder. Ways to know that someone is a zombie. The taste for human flesh. Having a partially decayed body. If they are still chasing you after being shot in the leg. Common characteristics that mimic that of a zombie. Being stoned out of their minds. Throwing up because of the weekend keg party. And being a Republican. Step 2. Find a shelter in which you can hide from the zombies. You don't want to be out on the streets when there are zombies because those things see you as a huge stake screaming, chase me. Good hideouts include your home but only if you don't live in an apartment or in a house with non-barred windows on the ground level. A bomb shelter with a view of the outside as to know when and where zombies are approaching. Anywhere where it's necessary to cross a deep pit of spikes in order to reach. Bad hideouts include the park, your local warehouse, or the backseat of your mom's Prius. Step 3. Your weapon. Most people say, Oh bro, if I were in a zombie apocalypse, I'd totally just shoot everybody. Well, my question to you is, um, what are you going to do when you're out of ammo? And also, if you live in a place where there are strict gun regulations, uh, where are you gonna find a gun? Your local Walmart? I don't think so. Here are great alternatives to guns. An aluminum bat. A crowbar. A lead pipe. That sword you got off of eBay. That set of hunting knives your dad keeps under the bed. Bad alternatives include your favorite guitar switchfoot sign, your signed copy of Tiffios, that riding crop your dad hides in the closet. Now for food and other necessities, it'll be best to raid your local supermarket a week before any major wedding signs get set off. Because, you know, when they do, those places will be flooded with people regretting why they didn't go shopping sooner for toilet paper and canned foods and Cheerios. Not to mention, those places will be huge feeding grounds for zombies, so in case you do go late, bring your trusty sword. Alright guys, have a good day and don't die. <clears throat>